Hi, it's Reagan with the More Designs, and I'm here to share a couple of projects with you that I made for swaps over at your paper pantry this month. Um, for the month of September, I should say. Uh, the I only did two swaps. The end of August was um, sort of rough for me, and um, we've been. First of all, let me apologize to anybody that sent me an email in the last month or so. Um, I have been super busy and things have been happening in my personal life that um, have made me move my email to the least of, you know, the least priority. They're at the bottom of the list. So if I haven't emailed you back, I am so sorry. I feel horrible, but um, my family life and things that are going on in my personal life definitely come first. So I apologize, but I will try to catch up, but I'm honestly, I'm behind and you may want to email me again if it's important. Um, so I apologize again, but anyways, let me get back to the swaps. I only did two because, um, of what was going on in my life, but I wanted to do, these were the two that I wanted to do for my healing process, I guess. Um, anyways, so I signed up for the Upcycle Lunch Bag Swap, which I signed up for this one because I think it is an excellent idea. Um, my oldest daughter started school this year, and I think these are going to be awesome to um, give the kids goodies or even the neighbors. Like I have um, lots of uh, the kid, kids in the neighborhood, you know, give out goodie bags or birthday parties. They just make little um, gift sacks good uh, gift sacks or goodie bags. So anyways, I signed up and this month was Halloween and the only requirement is to use a lunch bag. Not the Michaels lunch bags, but just the normal lunch bags from the grocery store and um, an image. So I printed this image off and um, it's from primprimitives.blogspot.com I believe. Um, and it's a uh, I don't know if you can see, but it's an older picture of a woman dressed up as a witch. And then I um, used the bottle template that I used in my Alice in Wonderland mini album from houseofstirfry.com slash, I think it's, uh, it's like Chia or Kaya, probably Kaya, C-H-I-A. And um, I just used the Baroque, actually I think I used the styled labels die this time for my label. And this is um, Witch Hazel extract label and it is from the graphics fairy and then I used one of the um, metal grunge metal edge tags from craft outlet and I circle punched out October 31st that I had stamped in um, pumpkin pie I believe uh, and then stuck that on there so it has a tag so this has a double you know use it looks like a little you know from the packaging on the bottle and also um, you can write to and from on the back of it. And then this paper is from, let's see, this is the purple and the tr branches are from Die Cuts With A View and then the, uh, I can't think, I'm sorry. The pumpkin with the black polka dots is Stampin' Up. And then the photo I printed on white cardstock from my computer, uh, black and white baker's twine. And then this is a grunge skull from Tim Holtz grunge board that I um, punched out the eyes and I just laced the, um, Baker's twine around this back piece of paper and then tied it in a bow behind his head, the skull's head, I guess. <laughs> and then um, I used my on the edge die with my big shot to um, make an edge on the bag. And then this is just black tool that I tied in a bow. And what I did was I um, pulled the bow as far out as I would go. So this is actually the ends of the bow. I just pulled it as tight as I could. That fly wanted his 15 minutes of fame there. <laughs> um, anyways, I tied the bow to, with tool to give it kind of a spooky, I don't know, fun look. So that is my paper bag. And then if Yolanda is watching, she needs to, well, actually, I probably won't upload this video until she has it. So um, never mind, Yoli. You probably already have it. Um, I also signed up for Yolanda's swap. It's um, junk it, smash it, throw it on the floor. These are the junk journals where we just were supposed to throw papers and stuff. It was supposed to be not a smash book, but for a journal. And um, it's supposed to be for healing and all this stuff. And the theme was girl power. And we're supposed to put um, 
oh, song lyrics, quotes, words of, you know, words of, I don't know, encouragement throughout the book because it's meant for healing and journaling. And um, I definitely needed this swap. So I signed up and got lucky enough to have Yolanda as my partner. And I hope that she loves her book as much as I know I'm going to love mine. So anyways, I bound it with my cinch. And I think these are one and, a one and three quarters, one and a quarter inch, one and three eighths inch maybe. I don't know. Uh, rings, oh wires. And then I used some seam binding as a bow. And then I just hung one of these metal edge coffee stain tags from Craft Outlet on there so that she can write whatever she wants on there. And then I use, we were supposed to use, um, cardboard as our covers. And so I just tore some of the cardboard right here and inked it up with walnut stain. And then, um, this is something from, uh, that I got from Yolanda actually. And I stamped a sewing pattern stamp from Stampin' Up on there, added a ticket that I had just from ephemera that I've been collecting. Um, this image right here is from Pretty Little, what is it? Um, I'll put the link down below. But um, it's free pretty images or something like that, but they're all free that she designs and you can use them for free. So um, I printed a bunch of these off in, in different styles and I decided to use that on the cover. And then I added one of my crochet flowers with a vintage button that has the vintage string inside of it. And then a little rosette. And then I added some more design paper and then I stitched with my sewing machine this ruler ribbon and added some lace. And I'm not going to put a title on it because I wanted her to be able to put a title and use it for what she wants to use it for. On the inside of the cover, I did some layers of designer paper, added some rickrack, and this is the Stampin' Up um, scalloped envelope. But what I did is I folded all of it to the back and then folded the flap. I actually folded it wrong, the wrong way and then um, folded the flap this way and glued it down so that I could add this little button and you could see the pretty side of the scallops and it creates a pocket. So I don't know if you can see, but there's the inside. And I'm gonna stick a note to Yolanda in there. And then I just added a library pocket that I received in a rack and forgive me because I do not remember who from. And I stamped, it was supposed to be heavy stamping. So I stamped this image that I have that's a silhouette and it says inspire and then right here it says source of inspiration. And inside is a, li a library card and these I got, I'll put the link down below, I don't remember. Um, but these are free printable as well. So then it's just on a folded card so that she has room for hidden journaling or whatever pictures whatever she would like journaling probably and then um, I used this scallop looking punch as a date for a date um, so she can write the date in there and journal and then I used a white out which I saw this from um, oh I think her name is Tracy my brain is not functioning today. I'm sorry. Um, she is Mercy Tiara on YouTube and I love her work. She is amazing. Anyways, I got this idea from her. It's a whiteout um, roller thing and I used that and just wrote with a ballpoint pen. And I probably won't read all of these, but this one says, I am woman, phenomenally, phenomenal, ugh, phenomenal woman. That's me, my Angelo. And then I just used some design paper. These were actually scraps. So I just used the scraps to stamp some flowers. This is also from Yolanda's ephemera pack that I bought. It has a bird cage stamp that says fly, a bird, I think this is from Girls Papery, and then some Tim Holtz um, paper tape. Um, I stamped a butterfly that says there are no accidents, you are here by design, trust in the significance of your destiny. And I tried to look up who this quote is from and I could not figure it out. So um, I'm sorry. <laughs> This is one of the vintage bags that I kind of cut apart and then I stitched it into a pocket so it would open this way. I just circle punched it so she has a pocket. And then on the back, this is another of the free pretty images. I'll put the link below. I know I'm butchering the name of that blog, but anyways, she's like sewing. I thought it was cute. So there's a label right there. And then this is a file folder that I cut down to make a divider. There's one of those stickers, I think it's by Teresa Collins maybe, that we all got from Tuesday morning in a roll of like three million. So I'm never gonna run out. And then this is some vintage lace back here, a piece of designer paper, and this is some of pretty ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. On the back, I used my vintage typewriter and typed up the rest of the, um, well, most of the 
quotes. So this quote is by Rebecca Fine. It says, taking action is how you give your gift and live a life of true service to yourself and others. And that doesn't mean that your life's work has to be something that seems grand and noble. The real key to being of service and living your purpose is simply to do what you love to do, whatever it may be. And then I just used a doily stamp for my break for stamps. Um, this is another I break for stamps. And then this one says, nothing else will ever make you as happy or as sad, as proud or as tired as motherhood. Um, Ella Parsons, and that's also a, an I break for stamp stamp. And then this is just an envelope so she can tuck whatever. Um, I had a banner stamp, so I did a banner and I colored it with watercolor pencils, which was fun. That was my first time. So Yolanda, if you see any mistakes, this, this was my first time with the watercolor pencils. And then I just um, cut some banners out of designer paper and popped those up like so, added some bling, and then the date, room for a date. Um, room for a date, room for a date. Hey, here's your little <laughs> My daughter's awake, room for a date. Um, some fun banners. Mommy. Shh, sissy be quiet. Um, this is a time card with designer paper, a stamp, another stamp, more room for journaling and a date. Um, stamped says what God intended for you goes far beyond anything you can imagine. Oprah, date, date, date. A frame from I break for stamps. Women need real moments of solitude and self-reflection to balance out how much of ourselves we give away. Barbara De, De Angelis, I think. Um, write your own story card that I sewed the bottom and punched it to make it into another pocket. Uh, some more banners. Um, this is a I break for stamp stamp. Date, date, um, designer paper and ribbon and punched. This is another image from the free, pretty, hey turn that on sissy, from the free pretty images or pretty little images with another ephemera piece from Yolanda and gel pen. A uh, coffee stain tag from Craft Outlet. Date stamp, flower stamp. It says our deepest wishes are whispers of our authentic selves. Shh, sissy, we must learn to respect them. We must learn to listen. Sarah, Sarah Ban Brethnock. I don't know if I'm saying that right either. Um, this is also an envelope. Another ephemera piece from Yolanda. And I just took my sewing machine and sewed the edge of this. Um, this is also from the free pretty images or whatever. And so it, she can tuck stuff in there. Then I did a girl's papery tag for a date. And then this is a girl's papery bird with the leftovers from Yolanda's um, ephemera pack pieces that I used. I just added this little clothespin and inside is the um, same poem that I put in a travelogue. It's the Imagine a Woman poem by Patricia Lynn Riley. And then a date stamp. This is um, stamped, typed, uh, quote and then I also sewed with my sewing machine and left this for a pocket. This is file folder. Designer paper. This is a banner I had cut out a long time ago and didn't use. This is some designer paper that I taped on with some Tim Holtz tape so it flaps open and then this is a um, this is a quote that contains some curse words so I put censored so she wouldn't do her video and it be right on there. So there's a tag. Hold on sissy. Date stamp, date stamp. Um, it says a woman is the full circle. Within her is the power to create, nurture, and transform. Diane Murray Child. Some stamps. Date stamp. Butterfly. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Henry David Thoreau. Date and journal. Uh, some girls were just born with glitter in their veins. And I, I wrote this down and didn't know who it was by. And I searched. And it's by Paris Hilton. And my husband said, oh, I'm sure she appreciates having a Paris Hilton quote. But it was, it was meant for Juicy Couture couture, but um, I thought it fit with crafting, so I put it in there. Um, time card with some girls papery and some um, designer paper that I stitched, and I punched the card. Date, date and journal, date and journal. This says, you may not always be perfect, but you will always be you. That's an I break for stamp stamp, and this is a Stampin' Up stamp. Date stamp. This says, for beautiful eyes, look for the good in others. For beautiful lips, speak only words of kindness. And for poise, walk with the knowledge that you are never alone. Audrey Hepburn. Date and journal. This is a um, file folder pocket that I stitched 
on three of the sides and punched with circle punch. And then this is just a card that I added some designer paper to and a bread tag. I stapled it on and it made a little card for journaling. And then she can tuck stuff inside. Um, date. This is some um, Hambly screen prints that I rounded the corners. File folder with designer paper and crochet lace with a bird stamp. Date stamp. Um, this is girls papery and then I cut out this butterfly. It's a digital image I think from Graphic Fairy. Goodness to see. A uh, paper bag. And then this is designer paper. It says, this is um, vellum. It says, the most wasted of all days is one without laughter. E.E. E. Cummings. Date and journal. Um, this is a Stampin' Up! background stamp that I watercolored with watercolor pencils. And then I stamped You're Beautiful. Another date stamp. Um, stamps. I typed this on my typewriter. It says, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. That's by... Um, I'm going to butcher the name, but it's Goth, 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 I don't know. Uh, date, date and journal, heart, it says let your heart dance. This is watercolor, it's a Stampin' Up stamp, or not, sorry, it's not a Stampin' Up stamp, it's a different stamp, and I watercolored it, and it says the greatest gift is a portion of thyself. Another time card with punched uh, designer paper, some vintage eyelet tr trim. Date and journal, date and journal. Another, um, I did some number stamping because it goes with the um, quote right here. And um, she can journal there, date and journal, date and journal, date. And then I did a clock stamp, another clock stamp says take some time. And then this is also from the free pretty images um, that I stapled on so she can tuck stuff behind it. It says, it's the magic of risking everything for a dream that nobody sees but you million dollar baby and then a date stamp and then another piece of craft paper craft cardstock with date stamp journey ribbon another crocheted flower with a vintage button and then another white out and it says the question isn't who's going to let me it's who's going to stop me and it's um Ayn Rand's Another envelope that says, give thanks for what you are now and keep fighting for what you want to be tomorrow for Nanda Miramontes Landeros with um, some stamps. And it opens up, obviously, because it's envelope. And then I did a chalkboard bubble that I did some gel pen bow stitching on. And there's the back. And it says, handmade because you're worth it, my name and the date. So, Yolanda, I hope that you love it. It was really fun for me to make, and I hope that you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.